When someone signs in to a Google Workspace account, we don't just check the username and password. We look at several factors before letting that person have access to the account and its data. But before we get started, let's make sure you're watching the right YouTube video. This video is for administrators who manage Google Workspace for a business or a school. If you're having trouble signing in to your personal Google account, stop watching this video and take a look at this help article. Now, if you're still watching this video, we'll assume you're a Google Workspace administrator who needs to help unblock someone right now. Before you can help them, you need to understand how we keep your organization's data safe. The first method we use to secure your users' accounts is a password. If you have a user who's forgotten their password, you can reset it. You as an admin also might need to do this if, for example, you need to retrieve files from a former employee's account. Sign in to your admin console and click Manage on the Users pane. Click the user's account and click Reset Password. You can enter a password that you will share with your user, or you can let Google generate a password. Either way, send the password to your user and we'll ask them to create a new password once they log in. Another way we keep your organization secure is by presenting users with login challenges. We do this when we detect unusual activity, such as a user signing in from a geographic location far from their home. If the prompt they see says, verify it's you, you can quickly disable login challenges and let the user sign in with just a password. Before we show you how, let's pause for a warning. Remember that you're about to remove almost all security protections on your user's account. We recommend you use a video conference to confirm their identity and then ask them to log into their account as soon as possible. Okay, back to the video. Sign into your admin console and click Manage on the Users pane. Click the user who needs help and open the Security pane. Click the pencil icon next to Login Challenge and then click the button to turn off login challenges and other security prompts for 10 minutes. Once the user signs in, we encourage you to use the admin console to add a mobile phone and a recovery email to their Google Workspace account. That way, they'll be able to sign in on their own the next time they receive a login challenge. The next level of protection we offer is two-step verification. We strongly recommend you turn on two-step verification for your entire organization. Users experiencing trouble with the two-step verification prompt have already enabled this extra level of security and will receive a login challenge every time they sign in to their Google Workspace account from a new device. If a user can't get past two-step verification, the easiest way to help this person get back to work is to provide them with backup codes. Sign in to your admin console and click Manage on the Users pane. Click the user who needs help and open the Security pane. Click Two-Step Verification and then click the button to get backup verification codes. Send the codes to the user and ask them to follow the prompts to enter one of their eight-digit backup codes. Another way we safeguard your user accounts from malicious attacks is to provide an additional challenge whenever someone performs sensitive actions, such as changing the password, changing the name on their account, or exporting account data. Users performing sensitive actions will receive a login challenge. If the user fails verification, we will not allow them to do the action. They can still use their account, but you will get a notification of failed sensitive actions so you can investigate if the user intended to do them. If one of your users gets blocked from doing an action, you can help them by temporarily disabling these login challenges as we showed you earlier in this video. And finally, Google's strongest level of protection is the Advanced Protection Program. Executives and other high-profile users in your organization might be specifically targeted by criminals trying to take over their Google accounts. If you enable Advanced Protection for a user, they'll be required to insert a hardware security key every time they sign in to their Google account. That about wraps things up, but before we say goodbye, here's a reminder. Google Workspace is designed to keep your organization's data safe from malicious attacks. But criminals are always looking for new ways to compromise accounts, especially admin accounts. Remember that passwords often aren't enough to keep your account secure. We encourage you to turn on two-step verification for yourself, your fellow admins, and your entire organization. This help article will show you how. Thanks for watching.